Welcome back to Total Party Kill, the podcast where we lie to bugbears. I'm your dungeon master, Tony Sindelar. Joining me is the Adventures Pyramid. Uh, let's start with James Thompson. I am playing uh, Nox, the Dragonborn Bard, who is playing Rugra, the bugbear. <laughs> wow, it's easy to say. Let's play within a play. Uh, near to you in bugbearness, it's, uh, it's, uh, let's introduce you by character name again, it's Liz Miles. Hello, I am playing Velo the Less Demonic, who also currently looks like a bugbear, but she also has a splendid illusionary hat on, and Velo likes to make very well-considered, reasonable decisions. Indeed. Canon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Nearby, it's Mike Hurley. Uh, I am playing Maximilian Thundercliff, the noble half orc who is super jealous of all of this illusionary magic that everybody seems to have. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, lurking in the shadows, it's Tiff Arment. Hi, El Scorcho, the tiefling druid. And uh, hey, you guys remember that time I saw a frog? <laughs> <laughs> I do remember that. <laughs> uh, pouring through his books, it's Jason Snell. Uh, yes, I am Furion the elf. Fascinated. The deeper we go, the more we learn. And uh, about bugbears, I guess. Mm hmm. Who knew how educational this podcast would be? And lurking in the back, breaking every lock, it's uh, Adina Hurley. Hi, I'm Olena, playing the half elf rogue. I don't look like a bugbear and I can't do any magic, so this should be interesting for me. Mm -hmm. So, when last we left our adventurers, uh, they had successfully conned their way past a, uh, a bugbear gardener named Brizan, who had given them basically a guided tour to these spooky, uh, depressing groves, uh, helping them avoid many dangerous dead ends and side passages. Uh, Brizan took them on a direct path straight to Belak the Druid's inner sanctum, his twilight grove. Uh, here he has left uh, Velo and Nox leading the way, both disguised as bugbears, um, in somewhat of a confrontation with seven goblins who guard the entrance to the Twilight Grove. So we have two adventurers dis disguised as uh, bugbears. Also, you would describe them as bugbears. And four adventurers who are just in their normal adventure persona, and one fox who is a weasel. <laughs> <laughs> what will happen next? So uh, what's going to happen next, everybody? Well, uh, do these goblins look like they're going to back away for good? And how do we think they're going to react when they see four other people? Is that we a question for, for me the, or for each other? That, that, that's a we question for, for the, the group. We go for the tried that's and like true prisoner point. tactic. Well, we've yeah, done I very well right. prisoners and we, in the past. I think yeah. we, we can do the, we've brought more adventures for Belloc. Yeah. Also, the, the impression yes. I got is that is that Burzan already sort of like... You you and, and Burzan walk in the door and say, here are these three bugbears, and, and they back away and say, oh, okay, he's not going to like it. And then Burzan, like, showed himself out. So I feel like the the mood in the room right now is that we should just kind of move through and and get past these guys that, like, in this moment, it feels like they're going to let us pass. They yeah. certainly seem to have had that reaction to the sight of three bugbears telling them what to do. They have not yet seen four non-bugbears yeah. wander into the room, though. Okay, Velo taps the step, sticks to step, takes step forward and says, All right, now, we told you to be cool. We mean, be cool. We've got some unexpected... Uh, prisoners. Cargo slash prisoners with us. <laughs> be cool, man. All right, the goblin kind of avoids making eye contact with you. Seems to have something very interesting to do with his All right. feet in the dirt. Uh, that's that's great. Uh, Fur uh, Furion knows where Nox is, and he's only through a door. So Furion sends a message saying, "You should come back. You should come back and get us like we're prisoners." Okay, I will do exactly that, or rather, Roger will do exactly that. <laughs> Rugrar. Yeah, Rugrar. All right, so he's going to lead us in, and we're going to we're going to be uh, down, and we've hidden right. our weapons, and we're going to we're going to do, do, do the whole conceal your weapons yep. uh, trick that we did before. All right, looks sad. Uh, Rugra, uh, not Rugrar, uh, Knox, uh, disguised as Rugrar. Uh, give me a performance check of being Rugrar. 
Okay, my performance is plus five, and I roll 18 <laughs> plus five, 23. All right, you really shove Furion through the gra- to the ground and kind of kick him and uh, push him through the door. So you are you are playing the role of a bugbear jailer very effectively. Um, okay, as you kind of other lead people, the, we'll say you lead the group in. Yeah. All right. I think I'm going to need a performance check from the four uh, heroes uh, as you attempt to look like unarmed prisoners. I'm also smuggling Fox. Yes. No one can see him. Ten. Ten. In, your, in your socks. Yes. Fox in the socks. <laughs> I don't think druids wear socks, or I don't know. They definitely wear like flip flops, right? So <laughs> it's just smuggled under my cloak. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Don't worry about. It. Don't worry about that moving lump. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, so, Furion, uh, Max, L, and Olena, give me some performance checks to attempt to play the role of hapless prisoners being brought to your doom. I got a 17. Ten. 17 is very good. 10. 10 is not great. 9. 9 is also not oh, great. Don't blow uh, it, you guys. 20. <laughs> 20? 20. Says, says Furion. Uh, was that everybody? That was four. Okay, yeah. that was four. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, the uh, the goblins say, "Did you search him?" To uh, they address Velo. Yes. Um, say yes. Well, yeah, we did pretty casually. You know, there were three of us. So we weren't that bothered. I mean, have you <laughs> seen them? No. These are you searched some us pathetic. thoroughly. Thoroughly <laughs> whispers search. in his magic <laughs> whisper. You searched us thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly. <laughs> Thoroughly? We didn't need to search them thoroughly. They have no have weapons. you seen we the way they every look? Every one of them. It's cool. <laughs> did they have, any, did yeah. they have anything good? Are you going to share it with us? Oh, sorry. Do, I, do we goblet. look like I, I we're going to share it with sorry, you? Sorry, I keep sorry. defaulting to bugbear voice, not goblin voice. Did they have anything good? Are you going to share it with us? Yeah, they had good stuff. And no. Where's our cut? Your cut? You want a cut? Yeah. What kind you of want cut, a cut do you I'll give you, you a cut. The, the goblins step back further. <laughs> yeah. Watch yourselves. If you're good, we might have a little something for you, but we're watching you. All of you. The, all, all seven of the goblins are nervously like looking at their feet, looking at their hands, just avoiding eye contact with these two bugbear. <laughs> oh my god, I'm going to look like a bugbear all the time. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, I think let's get the group going down, I guess. Wow, Bel- Belloc isn't going to like this. He said nobody should disturb him. Shut You're up! Yeah. Uh, okay, hold on. So which which, which one said that? Uh, the one that Velo just yelled okay, at. Okay, I, I then send a uh, a message to him in a whisper where I do a goblin voice like I'm the guy behind him, and I say, Quiet, you're going to get us killed. Ooh. He, all right, he cowers. <laughs> Keep terrible. Can we just tie them up now? They're all like I, huddling together. I feel uh, like you are we talking just... your way past them. I don't think you're talking your way into tying them up, but you okay. could lose it. That, <laughs> that would be, be a certain. Something. That would be a. Yeah, Tiff, read the rule. No, we, we have to convince them to tie themselves. That's called up. rope. I think. I think we could do That's it. It's called rope persuasion. Mm. <laughs> convince somebody to tie themselves up in rope all right what is my persuasion persuasion guys everybody trust falls let's do it so. <laughs> we started with the pyramid let's end with some trust falls I'm watching oh. you guys watching so, uh, <laughs> all right <laughs> watching <laughs> All right, Vela, you are very intimidating to the goblins, which provides a good amount of cover for the rest of the group to move into the grove. So here's what you need to know about the Twilight Grove. Um, There are pale, spindly briars all over the floor, casting twisted shadows. The fungi clinging to the ceilings and walls gives you kind of a pale purple light and with the shadows of of all the briars it looks kind of like skeletal hands dancing on the walls and uh the the thing about moving through the briars they are quite uh pointy and uh and not great for you so i'm going to say are any are any of you small creatures or are you all medium or bigger pretty big big Uh, big very tall but delicate bugbear oh bugbears are definitely Big-ish. But it doesn't um, matter because, well, 
with my disguise one, I'm my own proportions. Mm-hmm. Although I'm probably about bugbear size anyway. Oh, wait, actually, okay. that's true. Ditto. So uh, you're going to need to move at basically half speed um, to move through the briars without taking damage. If you if you needed to in a, in a, in a dangerous situation, you could always move, but you would take damage from the briars. Um, okay. We're just, you know casual i i I want to do like a nature check on these briars i'm I'm now interested in nature and fungi if only you had a druid (laughs) 11 plus i know i've got some good points in nature 3 14 on a nature they're very pointy they're though you don't want to get i feel like our druid is uh is going to be very key here Mm. i don't have extra nature for some reason what <laughs> Are you like a city druid? I don't understand. Yeah, don't <laughs> it's a fire. What, did, what did we do? Did we I'm mess an up? apprentice, apparently. No, I don't know. It says no zero plus zero for nature. How is that possible? <laughs> I have a lot of animal handling. Oh, okay. So you don't care about plants. You're all about yeah. Uh, El Scorcho, I see plus two for nature. Do you now? That's interesting. I see plus but, two for medicine. Uh, I also see plus two for nature and medicine. You don't see plus. I think I'm looking it at says your character plus sheet. Plus zero. Oh. I'm also looking at my character sheet. Though this says that you're level one, and I think you're level two. Maybe this was a version I built earlier. Maybe this is not the real version. Uh-oh. I don't remember. So, but you're mm. you're mainly you're. We'll just say you're animal oriented, not. Uh, yeah. You don't care about plants. That's okay. Which is kind of sad for a druid. Um, eh. Eh. Plants suck. Um, it's, <laughs> they haven't been great this adventure. That's for sure. <laughs> um, so. Uh, you are heading south. It seems like there's kind of uh, a variety of um, in a couple of places. There's weird kind of like foundations, like walls being built up. Um, but there's lots of shrubs and bushes and briars all over the ground here. Um, and you can spot in a couple places some of the shrubs seem to be moving. This is pretty. <laughs> <laughs> So, do we think those shrubs are going to recognize Roger, or do shrubs not really think? Pop over to a shrub and go, greetings, my Well, we should just, we should just act like we belong here. Yeah, I think yeah. that's the, let's just keep on going. I could transform into a shrub. Can, can you? <laughs> sort of, I mean, it's the same kind, it says it's shape, but my arms and legs could just be like, branches and there could be lots of coverage with branches so that it looks like you're pretty much a shrub. I'm sure I could do a shrub. Mm. I could draw a picture of how I think I could do a shrub <laughs> to prove to you I could do a shrub. Let's just go single file away from the killer Ooh. shrubs. Uh-oh. Shrub's There's a shrub. Moving. Shall I set fire to it? No. Okay. <laughs> shrub love fire. They don't shrub, look happy. Shrubs are they coming. Look, they look like they're surrounding us. Let, you notice that you seem to be Getting surrounded by shrubs. I said that. Oh my god, there's everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, they not attacked us. No, they none have attacked us. you yet. But Let's you do keep... notice, especially the uh, the natural formation of the uh, cavern is narrowing a little bit, and there are more and more shrubs. Right, we you. kill these shrubs. No, well, let, let's. I think ki- try and get our way past them. Oh my, no, 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 we kill these shrubs. There are too many of them. It's an enclosed space. They're surrounding I th- us. I think we the key have... phrase there was, there are too many of them. And they, they <laughs> haven't no, no, attacked they, they, us they'll be weak. yet. They're, they're made of shrubbery that will burn them up. They'll be fine. There's also like seven goblins at the top. Yeah, but they can't hear us now. It's all, they were ages away from them. We're like 200 they won't feet. hear us as we burn everyone alive. Very gentle flames, I promise. Mm. Gentle flame, is that one of your spells? I haven't seen that one yet. Um, what have we got? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We cannot confront a boss and also have these shrubs. That is just, that's well, not going to end well. Maybe the shrubs are just curious. Oh, God. <laughs> We're going to die by shrub. <laughs> I feel like I should start setting a couple of fires just to sort of block their approach. I have, um, I can produce a flame in my hand and maybe they'll back away. Ooh, that sounds good. So it won't hurt anybody, but it'll just look really bad. 
Is, is there any way we can use perception and by to bad, I mean badass. work out the mood of these shrubs? Uh, yes, roll perception to work out the mood of the shrubs. Right, you know. 19! They seem uh, antagonistic toward your presence here in the cave. There you go. Told you. Kill them. Okay, hang on. Let's can see. I can I produce some flame? Produce that flame. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm uh I'm gonna produce flame, but not do anything with it. So do I have to roll for that? Uh, no, I think you can just do that. Uh, yeah. One of the shrubs kind of shuffles away from you. Uh, mm-hmm. I'll... I'm ho- I'm just like holding it out in my hand, mm-hmm. just kind of like a candle. Yeah. I'm gonna like, also. Intimidating uh, them. I'm gonna start a. Uh, firebolt, but not fire it off. I'm just producing the mode of fire in my hand, but I'm not flinging mm-hmm. it yet, just to si- similarly kind of like show fire and kind of intimidate these guys. Can we, can we all can, do let's, that? Let's, can, let's yeah, like, only, wait, I'm going to go in the front and I'm going to move forward with oh, my flame hand. There's a lot down there. Oh my god. Okay, I think Nox will have a little uh, flame coming out of Roger's mouth. Mm-hmm. Um, just sort of <laughs> around the edges. This is a complicated disguise. <laughs> yeah, I think your disguise may may not. You know, you're either if, a dragonborn maybe, or you're a bugbear. Maybe it's bear. time to drop, oh, right, drop right, the right. bugbear right. and just be the dragonborn. Well, I mean, I can do the cone of flame in a f- uh, 15 foot thing. I could take out quite a lot of these if we get them in one place. Yeah, just who I've got. Right, I nice just feel like we are, we're too. we're kind of intimidating so you're them right now. Nervously, kind of creeping forward, holding fire out. Some of the some of the shrubs kind of back away from you and oh kind yeah, of this is wither working. away. But it does yeah. seem like there's more and more of them, and the cavern is getting narrower and narrower as you press south into the twilight. That, that's world. okay. Well, it's, I think that's fine. If we can try and funnel them, and mm-hmm. then both Velo and Nox have this cone of flame thing. Yeah. Feels I have bad, a torch. Man. Can I light up the, my torch with your yes. fire? <laughs> I am also going to do that. That is a very good idea. Velo, uh, you pass near one of them. Did I? Yep. No, we wasn't standing there. Yeah, you totally were. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, and the, uh, the twig light, the shrub, is going to take a swing at you. Its claw-like branch uh, lashes out. Okay, as as it lashes out, I scream to the party, I told you to burn them all! Uh, Twelve, <laughs> as you scream, I told you to burn them all. <laughs> uh, my armor class is eleven. Can you take I add three... something to it magically? I don't think so. <laughs> okay. You 11. take 12 tree damage. You are Whoa. effing kidding wow. me. Wow. I'm sorry, These sorry, sorry, are... sorry, 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 sorry. No, you take three three damage. I am getting you. I don't know where. Where did I read the? Where did I read twelve? You take one hundred and twelve points of damage. Twelve is tree. what they rolled to hit you. That's where I got the number twelve. Jeez. Yeah. You are now a tree. You're a wear tree. You've just <laughs> moved on. Uh, I am going to roll initiative for the trees. I told uh, you. Well, I didn't. Anyone listen? We should have killed them all when we had them in slightly different positions. I would suggest that Pasta. you roll initiative as well because the trees rolled a nineteen and they feel great about that. Oh my god. Okay. Ten. Oh, Five. Uh, Fourteen. We're all going to die. I, I don't know which one of you to blame, so I blame you all equally. Oh, my five all right. Did someone write in five? Yeah, I put in five. Ah, oh, thank you. Why have I got a box around me? Oh, it's gone away. <laughs> it's I've when you move your mouse over going. the turn order. Oh, yeah, that's it. It shows who, who right. that person is. Okay, okay. We're good. We're good. We're just going to start a lot of little bonfires. We just need them all to stand in a 15-foot cone in front of the two of us, and we're good. Maybe sure yet, can you use convince one of my... them to do that? Uh, oh. Roll a persuasion check. <laughs> all right. They don't have ears. I mean, they're um, all mostly coned already, right? Yeah, they're pretty coned. Pretty yeah. coned. Um, does everyone have their initiative in? Coned and pwned. <laughs> sure. Nice. <laughs> All nice. right. So unfortunately, the twig blights, it looks like, have gone first. Uh, at Velo's scream, the twig blights r- lunge in for the kill. Oh, God. Why me? I'm Suddenly, the delicate one. There is plant life all around you. <laughs> which maybe that's part of your plan. I don't know. Save me! <laughs> you saved me. Oh, but they are all moving into a nice cone. Yeah, well, they're trying to get to you. <laughs> yeah, but so long as they don't kill me. Save yes. me! 
Oh, there's quite a lot. Yeah, it really is. Um, all right. So let me, I've got, sorry, I've got a lot to manage here because, you know, all the bad guys. Um, so, uh, Olena, a twig bright sneaks up behind you and takes a slice at you. 18 to hit. Against 14. AC, get your AC. Uh-huh, 14. So you'll take three damage. Mm-hmm. Max, 10 to hit. Nah. Velo, uh, 15 to hit. Oh, sod off. Three damage. L, uh, 12. And the second one is uh, 18. Ooh, the 18 hits. Three damage. Uh, Nox, you've got three coming your way. Uh, seven doesn't sound very impressive, nor does eight, uh, nor does four. I am 14, so no. All right, so there are now many, and there are many tw- twig blades kind of stomping through the brush uh, of the grove in your direction. Uh, so do remember that there is um, there are briars everywhere, so moving around, if you want to, you'll, you need to either move slowly or you may take some damage if you move not slowly. Um and many of you are at this point. In fact, I guess everybody except Furion has been engaged by Twig Blights. Um, now, I will tell you, since the Twig Blights have gone, you could theoretically, if you, you know, you can't spend, you can't have a conference about it, but you could, uh, if you had instincts for, like, somebody should go first to set somebody else up, you could do that now, if you, because uh, you could always kind of wait until after another player has gone. But L is up next in the order as rolled. Um... All right, I'm going to uh, produce flame on mm-hmm. the nearest twig blithe. And how does right that work? Uh, let's see. If I attack it, I can hurl a flame within a 30 feet. And yep. on a hit, the target takes um, a D8 fire damage. Okay. So you're going to attack it? Ooh, four. Uh, but I have inspiration. Oh, you could use your inspiration now, or you could save it for Which later. Which is re-roll. Yeah. All right. Come on, be better. 17. All right, roll that D8 fire damage. I will tell you, uh, twig blights are these kind of uh, very dry little wooded shrubs. They are vulnerable to fire damage, which means they take double fire damage. They also don't have a ton yes. of points, for ch- so chances are you're just going to kill it. But roll the damage. Two. Uh, that's two. Guess what? Mm-hmm. Twig Blights have four hit points. You know what two doubled is? Four. <laughs> oh, this is going to be easy. Is it seven? Time for you all to die. I <laughs> oh, know. Use Max. My... <laughs> 17. <laughs> so close. So close. <laughs> uh, L, do you want to do anything else? There's still Twig Blights next to you. Um, I don't know if I could. I can't do that again, but Mm-mm. I can um, move back. If you move back, they will take a swipe at you, is the downside. Oh, okay. Then I'll stay there. All right. Sweet. Oh, Lena, you're toward the back. Um, you uh, There's a twig blight that just kind of tried to slice you in the back. Oh, no. Uh-oh, we're losing Tony. Oh, no. Bye, Tony. Not again. <laughs> can you hear Always me? Always on my turn. Yeah, we can hear you. <laughs> but I'm getting it. Okay, sorry. Maybe just my internet up. faded in and out. Uh, oh, Lena, there is a twig blight behind you that just sliced into you a little bit. Do you want to return the favor? I would. I was just uh, checking my uh, Tinder box on um, uh, how it works to make some fire, because I'm assuming Furion, he didn't have any fire lit up, right? Did you have? No. Uh, so I think that will take too long, so I'm just going to use my needle sword on the tree and see what happens. All right. Uh, do I have any special actions? No. Um, that no. Okay. So that's uh, ten plus five, fifteen. Uh, that is plenty. These are not very um, mm. threatening. They're just, they they make up for their individual threatness with quali- quantity. So you you stab uh, that twig light. Roll damage. To see if you can get above four, or Eight. four or above. <laughs> That'll do it. You chop that okay. evil tree into bits. We'll take it later to make a fire, a bone yeah. fire. Do you want to move uh, around? Was... You're no longer, you know, being attacked by that twig blight if you want to move somewhere. I'm going to sit. 
I'm going to stay where I am. Okay. Nox, you are being attacked by three twig blights. There are many twig blights in your general area. Yeah, so I'm wondering whether I should use my uh, breath weapon or save it. I can't really Um, imagine a better scenario. (laughs) Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. There's basically the enemies. The enemies have basically stacked kindling in front of you. (laughs) (laughs) And I'm fire resistant, so go do what you need to do. um, You're just out of the cone anyway. Um, But I can only hit from here without moving. I can only take out four of them. That's still a lot. Okay, I shall do that. So they need to do a DC 11 saving... Th- no, uh, DC dex saving throw, and it's 2d6 uh, fire damage and half of that for success. Can you so, roll what the half of it would be on a success? Because I, I suspect they die even on a success. Um, I rolled a 3 but they're vulnerable to fire. Yeah, so that's so, a six. So, so that's a they, six. Th- so, so four of them are dead. Four of them basically. are dead, yes. It turns out being made out of wood and fighting a dragon... This is a life lesson, kids. If you're, if you're made out of wood, don't fight a dragon. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, Nox, you have... And was that an action or a bonus action? That was uh, an action. All right, you have dispatched four twig blights in a, bur- a burst of fire from your nostrils. Um, oh, okay. all right. Um, um, next, uh, one of the goblins wanders over and says, "What's going on over here?" What? How That's his very turn. what a coincidence that is, Dungeon Master. <laughs> I live in the intersection of coincidences and tragedy. It's your tragedies. It's my coincidences. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is very suspicious. Fury, you're very next. quiet. Um, we should just tell them that there's been an accidental fire. Yeah, and <laughs> it does. We're trying accident. to put it out. Yeah, trying yeah, to feel away. Just get some water. Back get... off, man! Secure safety hazard here. Yeah, you're not. Yeah, go We're doing around, this. Around off a bucket brigade. Yeah. Yeah, I think we could persuade them that there has been a tragic accident. <laughs> Furion. Um, so what are they doing? They're not doing anything so far? Uh, so far they have not done anything except inquire as to what the heck is okay, going on. Okay, I'm going to um, fire a uh, firebolt at the twig blight that's over here by me. Mm-hmm. Oh, come on. It's not even right next to you. Help me. I'm delicate. <laughs> Well, it's an it's an eight, so it doesn't do anything. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's it That's for it. Furion. All right, Furion, you're not built to take out armies of twig blights. Not really. No, my range. I have one it? ranged spell that I might be able to do at some point, but I've got okay. I've got fire bolts, so that's a good one if I can actually hit with it. Maximilian Thundercliff, uh, Orc of Action, your friends have talked you into quite a ridiculous display here. What will you do? I am going to use my battle axe on the twig next to me, uh, which uh, hits definitely hits. It's 24 against AC. Mm-hmm. And what did you say the max HP of a twig blithe is? Four. Okay, I do a plus five to any <laughs> D8, so it's dead. Yep. So you are just clearing. Uh, it's Clear like you're clearing brush. brush. It's just it's just yeah. angry brush. Yeah. You have to burn it down to mm-hmm. for things to grow. Uh, Max, you want to do anything now that you have dispatched the twig blight next to you? Um, Save me. Hmm. I feel like we need to try and deal with this goblin somehow. Lies always seem to work. Yeah, but I don't know what lie to tell. That is an industrial accident. Mike, that has never stopped any of your friends. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> because I feel like I can't now say, oh, there was a fire, because I just smashed one full of an axe. So. There was a fire which enraged the twig blights. Oh, no, I could just say I was trying to stop the fire, right? I'm trying to stop the spread by taking out more twigs. Uh, uh, there was a, there's been a fire, and we're trying to stop the spread of the fire. Roll me a bluff check with disadvantage. <laughs> oh, man. 
When you say Come a bluff on. check, Tony, what are you looking for? Uh, I think that's a uh, persuasion. 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 Yeah. yeah. Come on. Right. Two d20s here. You could do it. All right. One is an 20s. 18. Yes. Yeah. One is an 11. Unclear so 11. how successful you were. Um, oh. So, uh, Velo, you are next. You are uh, endangered by two twig blights. Also, a general sense of unease about this whole situation. On the one hand, I do want to burn them both to death at once. Mm-hmm. On the other... Do you have another tactic- hand? <laughs> I think you- <laughs> Tactically, I suppose I shouldn't use one of my spell slots for two piddling little twiggets. Um, yeah, so what I'm doing is I'm going to cast a bonfire... Where's my pen? Do I get... Do I- can I just draw? Yay! Oh, okay. That's not a very fire shape. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. That's let me freehand you weird thing. Freehand. Hang on. Hang on. Fire. <laughs> Yay. I can see it. Yes. On that. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that I... twig blade has to make a dexterity check or be ignited. It needs. Yes. It needs a d- to be a dexterity throw. No. No. It. Yes, sorry, dexterity of 12. It fails. Yay! So I roll 1d8. Where's the d8? Two! That is all you needed. So it ignites. The other one next to it looks, uh, you know, nonplussed to the extent extent a a shrub could look nonplussed. So. Yeah, yeah. come on, there's a fire burning right next to it. It should back off. That fire's still there. That fire's spreading. It attacks with ferocity. No, Velo. you're supposed to be scared of the fire. Velo, yes. 11 versus AC. I have 11 AC. Uh, you will take three damage. Oh, come on. All how right. is that how it works? Uh, always? Uh, Nox, I'm just going to move some of these dead trees out of the way. That's a stupid drill. So that more can rush in to kill you. Hi, guys. If only I had a cone of fire. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Haven't they heard? Uh, two attacks are coming at L. That is a 22 Ooh. and a critical fail. So you'll take three damage. Okay. Knocks three attacks coming at you. Uh, 12 doesn't sound very intimidating. 12 again seems equally not intimidating. And seven. So I think none of them are able to get past your shield right. and dragony persona. Um, cool. L. Oh, there's six there in a 15 are... foot cube there. If only it was my turn. Mm. Yeah. L, there are uh, how many? Eight twig blights kind of menacing you, but four are up on the front row. Um, uh, it is important to note you could theoretically rearrange your turn order if you wanted before the twig blights go. What do you mean by that? You could say, I want to let Furian go first. I got something good if you let me go ahead, but the the uh, goblins are between me and you. That's true. So hmm. I think you just got to do what you got. I have Thunder Wave, which is a fifteen foot cube in front of me, which means I can go a three a, a three by three square, and I can I can blast all of them loudly. I I I, I also have, um, have oh wait Thunder I have Thunder Sound that can. Um, I think that's more each, of an illusion than yeah. an attack, right? Or is each it an, creature an within range other than you must succeed on a constitutional saving throw or take 1d6 oh. thunder damage. No, n- keyword there is each creature, <laughs> not each what? enemy. Oh, what's the, what's the difference? Uh, creature oh. is everybody. Enemies is not your friends. Oh. Some spells target creatures. Some spells only target enemies. Okay. So that's a lot of people in range. Oh, <laughs> well, it's, it's five it's feet. It's five feet. Yeah. So I have Thunder Wave as well, and I've got all those people in yeah, front of me. Yeah, you've got six that you could do with Thunder Wave. So maybe you should go next. Yeah. Yeah. So I will do that. Let's see. Thunder Wave is 2d8. Uh, hang on. Ba, ba, ba. Have to make a constitution saving throw 13. Uh, otherwise, they take two d8 thunder damage. Can you roll that two d8 now? And they take ha- and yeah, and they, they take half damage. And, so yeah, yeah. I think yeah, two d8, seven and two, so nine. So they're all dead. Um, they're so all they're dead. all dead. 
So all is all eight in front of you dead then? Yeah. Now the it's a fifteen uh, foot cube, right? So it's just the, the the six directly in front of him. Yeah. All right. So L, you uh, I guess both L, also Alena had to let Knox go first since. Um, mm-hmm. So you let Knox kind of cut in. Mm-hmm. Knox Sorry. does a thunder wave. Knox, can you describe uh, what a thunder wave looks like when you do it, and also maybe uh, just share the information with how loud thunder wave is with the group. I don't think it's loud at all. I don't think it would attract any attention. <laughs> it's just a wave of thunder, you know. It's, it's yeah. natural I mean, sounding, if anything. It's like... Um, it emits so, a thunderous boom audible f- up to 300 feet away. <laughs> why, didn't you, why didn't Furion point out the 300 feet <laughs> thing when is encouraging it, me the, to do it? Is in the fine print. Oh, boy. Oh. So, so that's how we, we make here at Total Party Kill. We're here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. All right. So, so Knox, you have played a power chord on your guitar. You have slain <laughs> six twig blights, but at what cost? Um, uh, L, let's go back to you. Um, you have seen Knox kill six twig blights, but there are t- still two in front of you and a few others scattered around the cave. What All will right. you do? I'm going to do the produce flame. Actually, no. Will poison spray hurt them? Not as much as flame will. Yeah, Not as much as fire will. Well, they're not very strong. Anyway, um, yeah, I'll do the produce flame. Okay. Let's see if that hits. And we have a four. Doesn't hit, does it? That was to attack? Yeah. Nope, you miss. You you accidentally ignite one of the trees that does not move. (laughs) (laughs) Oops, the daisies. Uh, Olena, do you want to do anything? You probably do. Yep, yep, yep. Um, I want to shoot my short bow at the one that's next to Velo. All right. The <laughs> armor class of a twig blight is 13, and they have four hit points. Let's see. Okay, I have 24. So All that's right. Roll damage. Can you do four? Um, short bow is the six. Six. That's eight, so I think it's done. All right. You fire an arrow into the bush, and the bush, like, flops over. <laughs> and Velo, Velo gives you a thumbs up. And, I'm just impressed Velo didn't take credit for it. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I told you which one to kill. <laughs> so rude. <laughs> oh, Lena, do you want to go anywhere? No, no, uh, no. It, it feels bad in any other direction. I'm going to stay put. That, I think that is accurate. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, the goblin uh, starts screaming in goblin. Uh, so, uh, Max, you speak goblin? I do. I, and you know what? You all have been around the dungeon a little bit. You recognize when a goblin is yelling, Intruders! Intruders! Panic! Uh, and he runs off. Um, you hear the sound of other goblins. Uh, he's joining up with his other goblin friends. And it seems like you may have uh, other people joining the party very soon. Um, Furion. Uh, still a twig blade over here, right? Is that true? It's partially blacked yep. out here. I can't, I can't see the part of that, but I guess so. Yep. Yep. Here, I'll, I'll reveal more of that cavern. But yes. All right. Oh, that's much better. Uh, Firebolt, 24 to hit. Yep. And that's six fire damage. Yeah, that is unnecessary to kill a twig blight. Max? Um, hmm. There's two twig blights remaining by my count. Yeah, I'm concerned about these goblins, though. But I'm I can't. Not, I, think I can't great. get to them. So how how do you do the thing where you can measure the distance? Use the little ruler. There's a ruler tool. It's the ruler like with a circle. Forty feet away from us at best. But uh, I am gonna advance down to the twig blights which are surrounding L, um, and I am going to attack one of them um, with my battle axe, which is twenty versus AC, and it kills them immediately. Okay, that's there, just how it is. Yeah, you it's just like you basically wood. kind of gla- glare glare yeah. at the tree and it shrivels. 
Uh, I'm going to... I'm also going to call out in Goblin and say that the situation has been taken care of. The intruders have been destroyed. We're all fine down and here. And I will roll whatever it is I need to We're roll. How are you? Do you want to roll a, uh, a bluff check on that? So this is... Okay, what am I looking at against perception? Sorry, I, uh, persuasion. Oh, no. Persuasion. I keep saying bluff is a thing in fourth edition. It's not a thing in. Okay, it's it's an eleven. Mm. Mm. Un- impossible to know how well that's received. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled the eleven last time, and you said that exact same thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's not great, Mike. That's what I'm telling no, you. No, no. Who is uh, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> Velo, I think there is one twig blight <laughs> remaining in this grove of boars. Oh, we're boars. not going for that. No, 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 no. We're prepping for this goblin attack that's coming. <laughs> All right. So that twig blight's I... going to murder you when you turn your back on it? Thanks. You're the best. It's not. It's fine. It's... It is oh, about fine. to be the twig blight's turn, so you could rob it of a turn. <sighs> yeah, you could save L. I was, I was going to do a really... That, that's fine. That's fine. But when we all get murdered by goblins, I will be seeing I told you so. Um, I will fire at the twig light with um, a little bonfire, and mm-hmm. it has to make a saving throw against dexterity at 12. Uh, it rolled an 18. That's pretty good. What? The flip. Well, a bonfire <laughs> still goes up. All right. It's a really great... This this last twig light is just... It's just... It's, it's wonderful. Um, <laughs> so... It- this is unrealistic. This last twig blight uh, will swipe at L. Great. Uh, 13? Is that enough to hit you, L? I forget. Nope. All right. Also, it, if it's decided to stay there. Yeah, it's not going to do that. It's it's going to leave that spot so that it's Damn not on fire. It, yeah. it scoots oh forward. Oh. Stay. Uh, L, it is your turn. All right. I'm going to produce flame and go after that twig blight that tried mm-hmm. to get me. Take that. Oh, really? Six. Or is that a nine? How do I you think? tell me. Six. <laughs> N- neither of them's great. <laughs> yeah. Uh, old Lena, it may be up to you to save the day with a short bow. Yes. I'm on it. 24. We didn't hear and you. I think. It is 24 against the AC. Roll damage. 11. All right. You slay the final. Um, Thank you. <laughs> final twig light. Um, Nox, you sense that there are going to be goblins here, but you might have a round to get ready if you want to choose well, where you're going to. I mean, you could just keep pressing south or you could set up to be uh, attacked by goblins. We st- Well, I still look like Roger. Mm hmm. Um, do you? I thought you gave up on that when you... Could you do fire breath and all that when you're disguised as Roger? Sorry. I didn't rah, rah. see anything that said you couldn't. All right. Uh, we don't need to stop to look that up now. That's just an academic question. I, I didn't see anything. So I, I think, you know, the, the, the twig blades will not be fooled, but I don't think the goblins saw it. Well, the so. twig blades are all dead. So yes, they can't we tell We don't need to anyone. fool their corpses. <laughs> yes. So I think we have a possible chance. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm going with this. Why not? But in the event it doesn't work, um, question, how do you get... Say I blocked certain parts of the map with fire. You can only his... block one little square of the map with fire. The map is quite large. <laughs> <laughs> no, but... Um, where is it, the button? I think you can only have one fire at a time, right? No. If it doesn't say oh, that Also, are these shrubs flammable? <laughs> oh, very. So we could um, set them on fire. You have seconds, not minutes, but yes, you could well, go I mean, I could, I could fi- Well, I mean, I could firebolt a shrub and set it on fire, and I can do that once every whatever turn worth. Yeah, but you could. What, what is that going to achieve? Well, I mean, what by burning everything... I don't know. We're just attracting cool. more attention. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, I, I'm not ruling uh, it out. Uh, the tactics of a level two <laughs> Dungeon and Dragon yep. player. Fire is cool. <laughs> um, okay. I'm just. Do we have it, any chance of talking our way out of the fact that we just murdered all of these? They uh, did trees? just see you. They, you cast somebody cast Thunderwave. Let me just wait. Somebody. Uh, 
Rogwer, you, you still only have, you're not, you're kind of in combat, so you only have a couple seconds. Uh, you don't have minutes to have a meeting and have a plan. Uh, it is worth noting that, Nox, to your knowledge, Rogwar was not a big magic user and didn't was not a not a you never saw him cast Thunderwave is what I'm saying. Right, we're still gonna go try for the bluff then. Why the heck not? Let's go bluff. Well, all Nox all can right. do is react at this point. Alright, so no, Vale, Vale uh what, no. whoever's within shouting distance. I need, no. I need you to continue to move in turn order. Turn order. Oh sorry, sorry, sorry. It's Nox's all right, turn so, and then the goblin's um, good to go. I will move uh here which is halfway so i can run away if necessary um and as roger um i think is i that, will just can he it, can he move that far or does he have to go half speed to avoid being taking damage oh, you, if I you move the, through the uh briars that fast you will take some damage. okay well, you can find I'm, out how much briar damage you'll take since i am attempting to uh stay in uh, in character, in cover, I will not move quickly. Uh, but I will shout over to the the goblins and uh, tell them that the uh, terrible accident has been dealt with and uh, they should just go back to their duties. Uh, can you give me a persuasion check? I can and Come on. I've got plus five. Come on, you can do it. 18 plus 5, 23. Yes! All right. Uh, the next turn, the goblins rush in, but they do seem a little uncertain. Uh, so here's the challenge, Nox. I think that was very persuasive, but somebody did cast uh, Thunder Wave, and uh, several adventurers do have their weapons out. Um. So you have bought a turn of confusion. Come Furian. on, come on. You can come up with something good here. You can do right. it. Um, are we, what do you think? Are we, are we fomenting a revolution sound. against, uh, against, uh, what's his name? <laughs> or are we, are we a top secret, like, party <laughs> of agents? We're revolutionists. We're, over, we're, we're over, go overthrowing the... Belloc. We're, we're, no, we're Belloc's secret team that they don't know about because we're so damn secret. We're, and if we're they the, we're let the, on, the fungus police. So are the are, are the uh, are the twig blights? Were they uh, they were out of control and Belloc had to have us yes. stop them? It was the twig blights that were trying a revolution. You know these things found sound a lot more plausible than mine, and they're they're <laughs> not as good. Um. <laughs> Fury, it's your turn. Oh no! Uh, good luck, sell, Fury, with your sell story. Sell this one. Uh, well, all I can say is, uh, I mean. <laughs> Yeah, we we uh, we work for. Um, <laughs> he doesn't pause like I do. <laughs> oh. We work for Belloc, <laughs> and we and these twig blights uh, were revolting against him, so we had to put them down. I shout. Flawless. Roll Flawless. persuasion with disadvantage oh. because you're supposed to be a prisoner. <laughs> no, we're, this <laughs> is the. We're, the, the, that, the makes prisoner, it, that makes that it was more cover. convincing that we're a secret team because the prisoners turn out to be, oh, superheroes for <laughs> Belloc. Well, with disadvantage, it's an eight, Tony. Mm. Mm. Well, let's see. Maybe things will uh, t take a turn for the better with Max. Come on, Max. I shout from 30 feet away. I can't even see <sighs> who's shouting it. <laughs> you, you can speak in goblins, so they'll listen to you more. Exactly. You must get advantage for that. Exactly. That'll prove... You're on their side, but you don't look like you're on their side. It's, it's perfect. Hmm. Oh, and and after Furion shouts, he uh, he moves south. Uh, keep in mind that's half the... speed. That's half speed. Yep. Okay. I'm in Blade Song right now, so I got uh, forty. So I I moved twenty. Wow. I wish okay. I had never told you about that. <laughs> Thanks, listeners. <laughs> listeners, listeners. I would have just picked a different thing, but I picked that thing. Yeah. So Max, Max moves what's forward. Up? Max mm -hmm. moves forward fifteen feet because it's half speed, and he says, "Everything that that guy just told you is completely true." I'm talking in Goblin, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, we are, yes, we were only prisoners because we were brought here to, by uh, your bugbear friends to deal with this problem. We are, in fact, a team of uh, Twig Blight exterminators. <laughs> 
Uh, all right. <laughs> twig light and I roll. Boy, do you need a persuasion? I would like a persuasion. I uh, actually I, roll a critical hit. You know what? Uh, Not 20. Just, for the sake of doing stuff out of... You know what? The, the goblins look at each other and say, like... <laughs> Uh, Wednesdays and they leave. <laughs> yes! I uh, will take credit for that one. <laughs> uh, one of the goblins is like, I don't like that Belloc guy anyway. Do not get paid enough for this. It's, these guys are demoralized <laughs> anyway. This is a demoralized workforce. They don't believe in the plan. Yeah. They, they had just been quite intimidated like five minutes that ago. That bugbear you know? gardener believes in the plan more than those guys do. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. he's further up the food chain, so you yeah. know. <laughs> All right. In fact, some of them, some of them go back to uh, sorting plants, and some of them just leave. <laughs> you see, that's what happens when you try and just happen to have a goblin wandering past whilst we're dealing with twiglets. Uh, so uh, you seem to be out of combat um, <laughs> for now. Sorry. Though for now, though you are in the uh, the twilight grove. Presumably, Ooh. well, does anyone need healing? Uh, nah, I've got eight nope. points, that's fine. Uh, I'm mm. on 12 and I know we're going into a Neat. big boss situation, so I... Can we take a I'm, rest? I'm Can willing we do a to risk rest? my life for the sake of, like, the tank having so healing So the challenge like here is that a short rest is an hour. And we're right uh, on the doorstep of this guy. And you are certain, yeah, you. it does not feel super safe here. Uh, there are people that you've convinced that not to deal with you. There is a go uh, hobgoblin whose mm. charm will wear off. Yeah, that's right. Bugbear. Um, or bugbear. Bar yeah. Sorry, bugbear. Yeah. So it feels. What if we hid in one of the very dark corners. I feel like you could hide like... there for ten minutes to heal each other, but you could not h hide there for an hour. Is what okay. I'm feeling. We hide in one corner for ten minutes, another corner for nope. ten minutes. <laughs> However, there are only three corners. So I, I can. We do twice. I can do a cure wound, but uh, I've only got one spell left. Yeah, I think yeah, yeah. Yeah. save it for the big battle. Yeah. Let's save I think I'm the, the most badly injured, and, and I'm like, it's fine. I'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> uh, do we have any potions or anything? Uh, oh, if only like you'd did. let me ha make a herbalism kit so we could have hung out there for hours. <laughs> I still yeah. think I have a her an herbalism kit, but I cannot... Find do you, do you want to tell you, there were some great potions of healing on the people you didn't murder. Maybe, we did have, maybe all we did, of them. Each, we did each find a healing a potion, but I feel like we used that one already, so I we don't did think we use did. It. I think, yep, I feel like it. maybe did, Max yeah. chugged yeah, it behind did. a sofa. <laughs> yes, that is true. Sounds right. And I was being, Should we when I was on? in a horrific situation a few episodes ago. Yeah. I needed Certainly that was not a prelude to further trials and tribulations. Mm. No, because I've done great since. Jason, how are we on the clock? Uh, we've got, uh, I would say, fifteen or twenty minutes. Okay. Let's go. Let's yeah, I think we should get this guy. On. Let's bluff him into giving him us all his stuff. Well, yeah, he might have a giant frog. I can be a giant frog. <laughs> <laughs> are you? We'll Did you uh, have you ever met a frog? <laughs> I've met a frog. Was it Remember a giant that frog? Time you met a giant frog? Yeah. I it, was a, it was a giant frog, a great not just story a frog frog? That we could get well, with a, a giant, giant frog okay. and a regular frog. Oh, so wow. Why don't you become a, a giant frog and then we'll yes. take you to Belloc and say, we found you another giant frog? <laughs> no, but I don't want to be. <laughs> you don't have to be a giant <laughs> frog for lives there for L, how long does that spell last? <laughs> <laughs> I'd be a giant frog if I could, but I can only like. I think it's only human people with arms and legs. Humanish. <laughs> Humanoid. <laughs> All right, we push him forward, guys. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. 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 Do we want At any strategy of like, are we still trying to sell any lies? Like, because we've got two, <laughs> I two fake bugbears. I say we try bears. to sell all the lies at every opportunity. Okay. Fake bugbears up front. I recast my spell. <laughs> Did it wear off? I don't know. I can cast it at will, so. Okay. Every every like every ten minutes, I'm redoing the hat, so it's a bit different. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you about what you see beyond um, the chamber. Uh, oh no! Uh, roll twenty just quit on me. Um, do, do, do. Oh. 
A walled clearing is here among the briars. Mm. The walls are about 20 feet high, uh, but the cavern ceiling is a good 40 feet above you. Uh, Several varieties of plant grow around the center, the perimeter of the clearing, uh, including a few suspicious-looking saplings that might be uh, twig blights. Uh, But their importance pales before... Uh, That which stands... Exciting! Sorry, Roll20 is still loading for me, so I can't see anything. Um, Come on! Come on, Roll20. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's just exciting. Big reveal. Is there a picture? Uh, maybe. As soon as Roll20 loads. Establishing server uplink. (laughs) Oh, God. Mapping dungeons. Reticulating splines. Um... (laughs) Oh, everything's all pixelated. (laughs) All right. I'm just going to reveal the whole area to you now. Yes. And let me check. (gasps) Wow. Is there an image? I think there's all those. Oh, oh, are we getting... Do they have names? What are these things? So we've got... So. Whoa. All right. And I've given you an image. So... Uh, a walled clearing is here among the briars. The walls are about 20 feet high, which is less than half the height of the cavern's 40-foot ceiling. Several varieties of plants grow around the perimeter of the clearing, including a few suspicious-looking saplings, probably more twig blights. But their importance pales before that which stands at the courtyard center. Beneath the fungal light grows an evil, ancient tree. Its blackened, twisted limbs reach upward like a skeletal hand clawing its way out of the earth. Before it stands a few twig blights, a heavily armored young human male with a shield and sword, a blonde young human woman in a robe fit for a noble, and a middle-aged bearded human male wearing a brown hooded robe armed with a staff and sickle. The younger humans have black eyes and gray skin that seems even from a distance to have a bark-like chest, uh, bark-like texture. Oh no! Well, I think we've found our missing people. <laughs> <laughs> Why I is think this it's an time evil to just tree? turn around and say they're trees now. Sorry. The brown robed <laughs> man. Uh, Can we do a nature check? Yeah. <laughs> cool. The brown robed man in the center, oh. who it's... you could suspect is Belloc, looks at you expectantly. I got a nine on my nature check. This tree looks super bad. Okay. It's disappointing. Do. Oh, uh, names! I'm adding names so that you can see stuff. That seems important. Is Sir, Sir Bradford who we were looking for? Who were we looking for? Well, yeah, that, one of them's. Uh, uh, players! <laughs> Hercreel. One of the Hercreels, and Sir Bradford was in the party with them. He was the paladin who was with them. Yep. Yeah. Mm. All right. And so, is this a creel like a magic user? Because it her hands quite glowy in yeah. the picture. Yeah. I, I would think probably. Also, there's no I believe giant you were told frog definitely. here. Definitely. <laughs> that I, doesn't feel good, man. I don't like facing magic users. I like facing melee users. I think I we've can... got at least two magic users here. Mm. Yeah. I feel good about this. Um, there's also going to be a giant frog that's going to appear <laughs> at some point. <laughs> It's like no. the um, it's like Chekhov's just, giant frog. Just when you don't we thought mention it, it was and all not over, have it we we're squashed by the giant frog landing on us. So just to be clear, it is giant by frog standards. It's not giant by, like, I mean, it's larger than a normal frog. Just like a giant rat That's is larger really than a normal rat, but it's not, like, bigger than a horse. Well, <laughs> we could come in and sell the lie and say, we have more adventurers for you to turn into your evil tree bark <laughs> fungus Let's go people. For it. Nothing can go wrong. Well, yeah, um, but what's what's our like you go first, end game? Though. Yeah, <laughs> then what? I sneak close so that we can. There's no more them. lies. There's no well, lies. To There's tell always here. lies, Mike. Yeah, okay, but the, <laughs> well, that's well true. it means that we don't have to run past these um, brambly doodads if we can get at least so uh, past the brambles so, at normal speed. So Tony, I, I have a I have a question. Mm. You you say this this tree. You're also hiding under paper again. This tree looks <laughs> um, bad. Looks evil. It's like a we we all can tell at a distance that this tree seems to be no good, right? Real, real bad. Yes, even even on on everybody's various morality scales, this tree looks totally spooky. Yes. 
We should burn it down. Yeah. I- also, maybe can we? Could it possibly attack us then? It's going to have a giant frog close. in it, like up in the top. That's going to jump on our heads. Okay, but apparently this giant frog is not like squashing adventure party giant frog, but maybe more like giant frog. The dungeon master always lies, Liz. Why would you lie about um, a giant frog? Uh, to hurt. That's you. just mean. So, uh, have you met? It me? would spoil the surprise. I'm, I'm sixty feet away, but what I what yeah. Furian really wants to do when he sees this thing is. Uh, He's he's thinking very seriously. Uh, in fact, he gets a little fire in his hand and he looks at his friends and he's like, uh, I could just firebolt the tree. What do you think? Belloc gestures for you to approach. <sighs> oh, whoa, right. whoa. Mm. I was going to thumbs up that Furian, plan. Furian hangs well, back. We can, we, can, we can still do this. Um, uh, okay. Uh, Where's the tank? Uh, Mr. Tank, well, get in front of us. This is your job. <laughs> Uh, Rudgar uh, comes oh, yeah. uh, to yeah. the front. Okay, okay. Vale, vale is hiding behind this the fake bug here, bears. This wall. Yeah. If, um, oh no. Okay, fake bug bears hanging slightly back. <laughs> uh, the larger. Just, I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna say just because uh, Belloc is not as foolish as some of the other creatures you have encountered today. Um, we are very convincing bugbears. Give me a uh, give me a performance check that you are uh, because specifically you are not just being a bugbear but a specific bug. Oh right, I'm not bugbear. I'm knocked. convincing. <laughs> All right, uh, give me a uh, performance check with disadvantage. A performance is with disadvantage. Mm. Oh my, this is your fault for choosing a specific bugbear. Well, that well, was key to getting you past the goblins. So yes, specific. Um, so, uh, did you say disadvantage? With disadvantage, please. Come on. You didn't say advantage. I'm just. I checking. said. I said. I did say advantage, but inside the word. Do, do you have an inspiration? Uh, no. I wouldn't use inspiration in a disadvantage roll. <laughs> you totally should. If you had. All right. Uh, performance. Come on. Come on. I. Uh, got... And you know what, uh, Max? You got. You gain inspiration for successfully convincing seven goblins to leave. Thank um, you. <laughs> this is, I never realized to give people inspiration in the moment. It's only like five minutes later where it's like, oh, that actually worked. Yeah, you get a thing. Delayed, so. delayed inspiration. Yeah, you know, you guys do a lot of things, let's be honest. <laughs> okay, so I a got lot of inspiring uh, things. 11 plus 5, 16. All right. Um, so um, I'm going to say that he does not immediately call you out for not being uh, Revoir. Yes. Okay. So, uh, Nox, you have kind of let you have entered the clearing. Velo and Max, you are on the edge of the clearing. Uh, L and Fox, similarly on the edge. Furion, you're hanging back. Olena, do you want to hang back even further, or do you want to move up? No, I'll move up next to Furion. Okay. <laughs> so, Furion and Olena, you are even. The clearing is there. Are these walls, like ruined walls uh, around it. So you have like. Uh, probably you can't even see totally into the clearing. Maybe, if you're, you know, you could move easily to see into the clearing, but certainly uh, you're a little bit concealed back yeah. there. So, uh, L, similarly, you're kind of in the ruins of a little turret there. You could peek your head out, but uh, whereas Velo and Max and Nox are, you know, <laughs> and, visible. And Furion takes Elena's hand, and she thinks that it's because uh, it's a nervous, fraught situation, and then he turns to her and says, this is so exciting. <laughs> 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 it's this guy I've what can it. I say uh, so. Belloc addresses uh, who he thinks is Rograr and says uh, excellent you have brought us uh, more adventurers the tree hungers for them mm. yes uh, these are really good adventurers uh, they killed lots of people around the place but we rounded them up and here they are all, only the best for you, sir. H- how many do you bring before us? Not me, not me, I'm a bugbear, I'm a bugbear. I've got one, two... <laughs> <laughs> bugbears can't count very well, it's Four. hard Four. Four. Se- uh, and my, uh, my other bugbear assistant, friend assistant, here. Assistant. <coughs> assistant, assistant to the chief bugbear. Assistant yes. to the mm-hmm. <laughs> regional bugbear. <laughs> <laughs> Reference acknowledged. Mm. She really likes fungus. Bring bring them forward. Okay, this is great plan. Step forward. Uh people. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hang back here, you know, keeping an eye out, looking at his big Uh Hell, you coming out? Uh I was gonna transform did- into not people. So I didn't he did just go. give you away because he said four. Well, I, I, I hesitated. <laughs> Three. Uh, 
Um, <laughs> Elf under sight. Anyway. <laughs> Everything's fine. Adventurers, you are in for a treat. Gaze upon the majesty that is the Gulfias tree. It will be your home soon enough. Here, this tree grows where the sun does not illuminate. Its powers are beyond that of what those lesser druids would think of as the natural world. And soon, it will spread beyond this sunken cavern, cavern to the lands beyond. And you will serve it gratefully, I expect. Yeah, so um, Velo like, pokes her head around, a little bit nervous about the tree. She's like, oh, it's, it's a very impressive tree there. So did you grow it yourself? Oh, it was, it is, it is, it was here long before I arrived. You see a, a Gulfias tree. It is uh, somewhere, uh, even though it looks as if it was dead long ago, years past, someone staked a vampire on this very spot. And that stake took root and grew into the Gulfias tree you see before mm. you now. It reverberates with a, a primal power that those who are with the gift can tap. And you will serve it. Wow. That's like, that's really impressive. Hey, the, uh, hey, where's... the two adventurers, Sherwin and Sir Bradford, kind of stare through you with black, unblinking eyes. And Furion shouts, Hey, where's your frog? <laughs> Something in the branches of the trees. I told you it was in the tree. Ribbons. Uh-huh. Belloc whirls about ribbit? and says, Who told small... you about my frog? <laughs> and Furion uh, casts a firebolt at the frog in the tree. All oh right. my goodness. Oh, don't annoy the frog. The frog could be our friend. You don't know that. Anything about this frog's temperament. Well, maybe I'll just set up the, free, the tree on fire then. That's fine. Mm. Yeah, I have uh, maneuvered into a position where I can thunder wave Belloc and Sir Bradford. It was just, just getting interesting with you know the tree's background, and we could have found out more about Belloc and where he came from. And look, our lie was not going to go much further. You were all going to get turned into black-eyed uh, prisoners, I and I was going to walk away. Yeah, but what you we need could have a nice chat and possibly rule part of the world if we help out. I, Belloc I, and just I'm, keep yeah. like I'm just as happy to hit the tree as the frog, but Firebolt is going to set anything flammable on fire, so. I'm kind of hoping to set the tree on fire a little bit, but if I can damage okay. the, Give me the a, frog, uh, that's Give me a perception great. check to see if you can target the sound of the ribbon. That's a critical uh, hit. 23. All right. You, you spot the frog in the high in the branches above the, in, of the tree, and so we'll say that your target uh, will target both the uh, the frog and the tree. How's right, that? All right. 15 versus the frog, AC. Then? The yeah, frog my- is the size of a, uh, a decent-sized dog. Oh, that's disappointing. What? So it's um, a pretty giant frog. Yeah. yeah, it's a giant frog, Liz. I didn't since, even know I was since, expecting something epic. It's, it's not it's like, just a, like not if it was a frog, frog, it's a giant. It is an epic frog. If it was called dog. a frog giant, that would be different. Yes, I'm an amphibious dog. Yeah. <laughs> so um, the those are really called that, seals. So <laughs> the fact that we have uh, successfully sold the lie up to this point. Um, I'm an adventurer. I'm resisting. So, I think we should have a word with so, Fury and afterwards so 15, about... Eight, Tony, 15 versus mm-hmm. AC against the tree and frog. Tree frog, is it a tree frog or just a frog in a tree? I don't uh, know. All right, well, <laughs> it is just a frog, frog. in a tree. <laughs> tree frog, frog in well, a tree. Well, how did it get up there if it's not a tree frog? It... <laughs> Does it have magic. a little ladder? It's magic. Did Belloc build a little ladder for it? We, we might be focusing too much wood. on the frog. <laughs> we can never it's, focus too much on the you. frog. Hold on. The so frog's finding... the great part of this. Can I, simultaneous to this happening, because we've worked all this out, um, can I thunder wave as well before we go into combat? Do you think that you knew that Spurion was about to do this? Yes, he's that kind really? of Really? Okay. He sent one can, of those messages. And yeah. also... Yeah. We know Furion was going to do yeah, this eventually. Furion right. has been w- secretly wanting to burn frogs for this whole it's adventure. True. The, uh, so to- the, the giant frog has an armor class of 11. Okay, so I hit the frog. Okay. Uh, the tree has an armor class of... I have this written here. Da, da, da. 16? No, wait. It's 10. All right. Hmm. Well... I rolled a hit, and it's eight fire damage, and Firebolt uh, ignites flammable objects. It is vulnerable to fire. 
Okay. So how much damage did you just Eight do? Eight fire damage. Uh, okay. Um, I don't have a thing for the tree, so I need to write down that you did 16 damage to the tree. All right. Here's what I need everybody. I think, so, uh, Furion did that. Nox, you wanted to do a thunder wave? I want to do a thunder wave, which is 15 feet around me. Okay. Which I think it's in it, front of you. Um, it says a cube. In yes, front of the you. The cube has to be adjacent to you, not, you're not at the center of it. It says originating from you sweeps out from you yeah it's yes it's this right it goes it's a square with you right in front of you it's the it's sort of like the nine squares right in front of you there are other spells that do around you this one okay not. so well it will hit the tree as well presumably mm-hmm. and a frog i'll even and say it'll frog. hit a frog and you might knock a frog out of a tree I mean, maybe if we kill Belloc, Sir Bradford and Thingy will not be in his thrall. Little Thingy. So maybe not hitting. I mean, him I, I have plan. some questions for Belloc about that. I mean, what's he? What's he doing with them? Why? Why haven't they been eaten yet? Belloc maybe well, he's happy experimenting to on share them. words with you during during battle. Excellent. I was hoping for that that I could yell some questions and he'd conveniently <laughs> he answer them. Keep, keep him sort of off guard by asking him tricky <laughs> fungus no, he's like questions. Any villain, super villain, he yeah. will yes. always stop. Yeah, but we just he's, he's, he's going to want to reveal is, his plan just when we have him like. Right he is now. happy to chat, you know. So we just zapped his frog. So he might not be. I'm really sad about that frog. We didn't. We didn't know whether it was a it, bad well, it's frog not or dead not. Yet. It was a, It's in a bad tree, but does that make it a bad frog? <laughs> um, yes. Well, I'll let's see you. what happens when I thunder wave it with electricity. All right. So you're thunder waving Belloc, the tree, and the frog. Yep. All right. Um, so uh, it's a constitution save 13, uh, 2d8 damage, half damage if they save, and everything's pushed 10 feet away. So. It's going to rustle those uh, branches of that tree for sure. Yep. Uh, Bellic fails. Good. Uh, uh, giant frog. He got giant frog got a 13. How much did it need to get? Uh, bu- 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 13. 13. So it succeeds. And I think the frog, I think the tree automatically fails. The tree does not have a constitution. <laughs> So uh, Belloc will get take full damage, 2d8, and get pushed, and the, the tree will take full damage, and the frog will take half damage. Yeah. Okay. 2d8. Uh, 8. And 5, 12 damage. No. Wow. For- Good opening move. That's 13. Eight, so 8 and 5. 30. <laughs> Peacock, everybody. <laughs> That's why you gotta use a That's calculator. That's why I write a calculator because I he made it can't for a do it in my head. <laughs> so thirteen damage and half that for the frog. All right, and half that and thirteen damage to the tree. Yeah, the tree does not look great. The tree looks like somebody. Uh, so Tony, can the tree be pushed back ten feet? How does that work? No, it just <laughs> is it tilted. <laughs> is it tilted a little bit? It tilts a little bit and then it kind of sways back into place. It looks unhappy with the situation. Um, <laughs> all right. I think uh, we should concentrate fire on the tree and Bellic. Um. All right. Oh, Hold so on a frog. second. Let's just pause for a second. Jason, we are at the hour mark. Yeah. So I think the question is, you're obviously at the big fight. Should we make this episode long or should this be, is this a great place for a cliffhanger? What do people think? How many hit points do they have? <laughs> a decent amount. I'd say cliffhanger. I think this feels cliffhanger. like a cliffhanger. Yeah. And if we want to play another episode tonight, we can. Uh, but uh, this, this feels very cliffhangery to me right in here. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think this might, I think it might be good to start fresh from this point at our, cause we have another session scheduled, right? right we do. For, I, think yeah. that, I think that works uh, for me. When, yeah. when is it scheduled? Sorry. Um, that's a, I have, uh, I have July no idea. Oh, that's okay. Then. It's July 20th. Mm-hmm. That's what All we right. have scheduled. So should I do a, uh, a thing? Yeah, um, mm-hmm. and I'm going to suggest that you all roll initiative so that we have that set up. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, 
All right, so uh, Furion has uh, set fire to the tree and a little bit to a frog. Uh, Nox has unleashed a thunder wave, uh, but now finds himself uh, right next to the somewhat enthralled paladin who glares at him with blackened eyes and grayish bark-like skin. Who will prevail in this final confrontation with Belloc, the outcast druid? Will Nox eventually ret- will Nox even remember what his life was like before he was a bugbear? <laughs> what nonsense will Furion do next? How will Velo figure out a way to endanger us all <laughs> in this well-executed situation? And what other animals does L remember seeing? <laughs> For answers to questions such as these. Tune in next time to Total Party Kill. <laughs>